Dead the Dog. Welcome back, Crip Crow! It is so good to have you back with me on this edition of Dine With Me In Hell. Fucking A. Uh, kind of excited. Um, Doing this one solo. Doing this one solo as well. Uh, huge shout out to Urban313 Tortilla Chips made in Detroit, Michigan. Absolutely some of my favorite tortilla chips going right now. That's what I'm going to be using tonight for this hot sauce. Tonight, we are trying Cataclysm fucking ghost fire hot sauce now you'd think with a name like that there would be some ghost pepper in it but i got the thing pulled up right here uh oh it does say ghost pepper smoky hot sauce over 1 million skullville rating all right and, but in the ingredients it doesn't list ghost pepper unless ghost pepper is i bet you it's jalokia i bet you that's the real name of it it's got habanero and jalokia pepper mash habanero pepper mash and you know the rest of the standard ingredients for hot sauce but without further ado let's fucking let's try this the last one i tried was really good it was their green it was like a green jalapeno based salsa put it on that it was like a verde like a really good spicy verde that you could put on everything so i'm pretty excited let's bust out one of these chips a good scoopa get this open you guys just heard me open it for the first time never tried this before in my life Woo! That smells like it's gonna be hot. That smells like uh, one of the other ones we've done. Oh fuck, it's been so long. But this smells a lot like one of the other ones we've done. Not the Doom Sauce. Shout out to Convalescence. Fuck, I can't remember. Fuck it, who cares? Let's try this. Here we go. I'll show you guys so you can see I'm not fucking around. I put a lot on. Get the oh shit! Get the actual flavor. All right, here we go, everyone. Dine with me in hell. Cataclysm, ghost fire hot sauce. Yep. Yep. God damn it! I forgot to bring water again. Woo! <laughs> That one's hot. Gonna need another chip. All right, hang on though, hang on. Fuck that chip. All right, hang on. It's leveling out. Oh, wow. It made my, yep, made my eyes water a little bit. Sinuses are going. Forehead's a little sweaty. But all right, it levels out. It hits you pretty hard up front, but then actually levels out really nicely. Wow. It's still in there stinging. This is a million Scoville. We need to fucking adjust the Scoville shit because a million really, like you hear that and you're like, this should be the hottest thing on earth. It's actually just really fucking good. You know what? Let me see some. I, I don't normally... I try not to Google shit while I'm doing a video, but fuck it. I'm curious. Yes, so the Jalokia is the ghost pepper. All right. So there's ghost pepper mash in it. I just want to make sure. I never knew that. I never knew that that was the real name of the ghost pepper. Jalokia. Uh, so yeah, there is ghost pepper in here. I mean... Hot? It's hot. If you don't like hot, you're not going to like this. It's definitely hot. But I would put this on tacos. Uh, pretty much almost anything. Breakfast sandwiches. Uh, almost anything I'd put Frank's on. Or any kind of hot sauce. I would definitely... If I wanted one, the flavor. You know what? I was a little focused on heat. Let's do the flavor taste. Gonna do another one. A little bit less. A little bit less. But not much less. Just enough less to get flavor profile. Alright. That's why I like using tortilla chips is because it's just a basic flat flavor. You know what I mean? And like I said in the last video, nobody in their right fucking mind eats hot sauce off a spoon like we were. So kind of makes more sense to do this, I guess. But let me try this real quick. 
See? Yeah, like, really vinegary. Really vinegary. That comes out heavy. Uh, let me take a look at what else is in here. Mustard, yeah, I taste a little bit of the mustard seed. Yeah, you know, I think it's most... Uh, woo! There we go. I think it's mostly the vinegar in combination with the uh, habanero and the ghost pepper. Is where a lot of the flavor is. I... <laughs> it's getting me again. See? It's good. It's really good, though. I like this kind of heat. This is exactly what I look for in a hot sauce. I don't think it... <laughs> Pardon me. I don't think I would ever eat it on a chip again. But... Breakfast sandwiches, tacos, anything like that. For sure. For sure. That was... I mean... It's hot, but it's good, and it's not overpowering. That's why I would like it on something like that, where there's a lot of other flavors for it to combine to, or combine with. I think uh, it will enhance a lot of those flavors. But just it on its own, it's kind of like vinegary. You know, I would add this to a salsa. That That might be something right there. I'd like a salsa with this in it. Maybe I'll try that. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, that's... I mean, it's really good. Uh, my face is sweating. I'm sure you guys can tell. My face is probably a little bit red right now or whatever. I don't know what the fuck I look like on camera, but... I enjoy it. Uh, it definitely, like, hit a lot of the marks for me. I love it. I, I need... It's like music. It's like metal. I need it to give me some kind of a visceral reaction. I need a little bit of sweat on my brow. I need my tongue to hurt. I almost want to feel nervous for a second when I first bite it. You know what I mean? Like, it's all those kind of combining factors. And this hit it. This hit it. I'm not super sold on the flavor on its own. But I feel like this could be used to really enhance some dishes. If you're a spice head, if you love spicy food, uh, I think this would be a really good one to use to enhance a lot of the dishes. I just realized I didn't even shake this up. Wow. But yeah, it's uh, really good. Like, maybe even, I don't know. Yeah, I, I really like it. I like this one. It's still sitting, still simmering. It's still a little heat on my tongue. None of my throat or my stomach, though. It didn't like. It doesn't. See, that's the thing with what a lot of people say about the ghost pepper is the heat in your mouth isn't even what the problem is. It's once you swallow it, then the problems begin. Like on hot ones, a lot of the times. With this, none of that. I uh, just. Some really nice heat on the tongue. And that's it. That's it. Really good. I've been liking every single one of these hot sauces. This is the third one now I've tried. We got one more lined up. And there's another one on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, for, for even... I think they have like two other ones that I haven't even got yet. There's also that new Stevo one. There's a couple of Jay and Silent Bob ones that we're going to need to try. So yeah. These are going to keep coming. I'm sorry that uh, I had to do a handful of these solo. It was just, you know, things, schedules getting difficult. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do some hot sauce videos. So here's this one. I'm going to do one more. And then hopefully within the next couple weeks, we'll be able to get back to a more regular thing where Aaron's doing these with me and we're doing them more regularly and things like that again. But yeah, that, that was a really ghost fire. Re I'm going to put this in a lot of shit. A lot of shit. I'm so happy with how many amazing fucking hot sauces I've discovered. I thought, you know, you go to the grocery store and the world is, you know, maybe a couple smaller bands and then Frank's or Heinz or blah, 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 or whatever. McDonald's. You know, the McDonald's is of hot sauces, the Walmarts, whatever. It's been really, really fun going through and, and, and finding all these different ones, especially from bands that I fucking love. And they are, so far, have all turned out to be... At, that's what I was thinking. This smelled like Frank's. 
Gator, Florida Frank's hot sauce from Hatebreed. That's what I was thinking this smelled like, I think. That was a good one. That was really good. But, yeah, this has just been a really great experience. I thank you all so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, more of these coming. And uh, if you have been following along, you may have heard me mention a few weeks ago that there's a little, little bit of... There's, there's, a, yeah, yeah. there's a couple secret projects in the works that we are hoping to be able to announce. I was hoping to have them announced already. A couple things came up. Hopefully, we'll be able to announce them before the end of August. Hopefully, but if not, definitely the end of September. Uh, at least one of them will be announced and live. So, And it has, may or may not, have something slightly to do with things like this. So, anyway... That's going to do it for this edition of Dying With Me in Hell. Shout out to Cataclysm for their Ghost Fire Hot Sauce. Absolutely outstanding. I don't know what the fuck the rating system here is. I'm going to give this a uh, 7.5. I'm going to give that a 7.5. Just because I didn't necessarily love the raw flavor of it. I'm so confident that this is going to enhance so many things that I cook. I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. Again, Cataclysm, Ghostfire Hot Sauce, absolutely outstanding. Everybody pick it up. Link in the description below. These are big bottles, too. These are five-ounce bottles, all right? And they're only like 12 bucks. So, yeah, really good deal, really good prices, awesome band, awesome hot sauce. Fuck it, A. Uh, I hope you all pick some of this up, and if you like spicy food, I hope you try it. I enjoyed it. It was real fucking hot, but I like that. And that is going to do it for this edition of God With Me In Hell. Come on. We'll be back again very, very soon with much, much more. But until next time, my friends, you know what to do. Raise your fucking horns and bang your goddamn heads. And set your mouth on fire with some ghost fire hot sauce. We love you all to death. Good night. Yeah.